All right, everyone, look what we have here, a loader. This is so cool. This is what this game has been needing for a long time. It's a little hard to get used to, I'm going to tell you that right now. And with a steering wheel, this thing jerks back and forth. You'll notice that you'll see the wheel loader like steering back and forth real quick, like a little bit, and like not fully steering, but it's just uh, jerking around. That's because the steering wheel the feedback is too much for the on the game. I didn't go in and set it up. I just did it. Now, there's one thing with this loader. I find it really hard to uh, attach the clamp, the forks, and the bucket on the front. The bucket likes, they all like to tip underneath it, and then you have to go and try to reset it. And then, yeah, and then you have to go and try to do it again, and so on. And then every time you reset your loader, you have to take and go and get your forks back or whatever you have on it. All right, so here's what it, this is what I'm going to do with this. Uh, I couldn't, uh, I tried to smash side in as you can see right there in the front, or uh, kind of in the front. It just shoved the trailer around. So I just put some pressure down on it. And yeah, that's pretty fun. Pretty fun. I might drive a truck through this thing. I ain't real sure. Anyway, I was going to try to do this like real life, you know, how real scrap people do, you know, they'll actually poke through the window, but that doesn't work. It does not go through the glass. So, we know it doesn't work. The theory was to go and pull it up, you know, actually go through there, pull up through there, through the windows, and then lift it up. And that's how you would load scrap cars, unless the top is half ripped out. And then it still doesn't, it still works halfway, but... Not always. It just wants to dangle under. And then I used to cut the top of the cars out with a sledgehammer or a split and maul, and then I would fill it full of scrap. I'd like wire the door shut. This way, they it wouldn't uh, come open. And when they then they started changing the rules a little bit. Well, they didn't care so much about that, but they would actually take their forks, hook the door, rip it open, and flip it up, and dump everything out. They did that for everybody because people was bringing boulders in their cars and everything. It was stupid. And then, uh, then if there's like a nice looking truck to come through, even if it ran, you're supposed to have the gas, gas tanks off, but what they would do is they'd take their wheel loader and they would run up on the cab, on the side of the cab and just smash it all in. This way no one would want parts off of it or not want to buy it because they couldn't sell it. Once it came in there, they could not sell it. The guy before it that owned it, they could sell it. He would sell stuff off. But once PSC Metals bought it, there was no go. A little hard, I had brake and gas pedal and brake would go reverse, gas would go forward like normal. There's a tractor I'm going to do after this one, so yeah. And then the case tractor is pretty cool, it has a lot of attachments. I didn't do the attachments, I just drove over this car a little bit with it, but you'll see that in the next video. And that's basically all I did with this, I just smashed it, I just wanted to see what this thing would do. It works really well. This is such a fun mod. You could probably load cars. There's a dump truck on here that dumps. Uh, there's a flatbed trailer. There's a flatbed semi that you can load stuff on. I might do that. I'm not sure. It's a little pain in the butt to do all this, but it's, it is fun. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe. Share my video. Do whatever you like. Thank you. And that was so much appreciated. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Probably tomorrow. See ya.